Well, hello there. I'm Vasi Lia, wellness, self-care, and beauty host. Let's have a real conversation about life right now. We're all on our phones, scrolling all of our social media, connecting with everyone else, but we're disconnected with ourselves. So I'm all about finding ancient rituals to take care of our modern selves. Today, I'm gonna bring you the most important ritual that completely changed my life. I have to be really honest with you, I went through a period where I didn't have clarity, I didn't know my purpose. I literally was praying for like anything. I'm like, just show me something. All right, ritual one, it starts in the bedroom and it's not the ritual you're thinking of. This is the ritual of gratitude. The most Greek, we grew up on this. We eat it, we drink it, we bathe in it, all the things like, look, it's so good. I'm pretty sure I'm like 99% olive oil and like 1% sarcasm, but look. I'm thinking, I'm breathing in all this beauty and I'm letting go of everything that does not serve me. As you're doing, as you're doing this breath work, things may come up. I have cried in it. I have gotten angry. So let's talk about what horta is. You guys, horta is a weed. Remember what they always told you to cut the weeds? No, we eat the weeds in this household. They are so good for you. It's specifically a dandelion weed. So dandelion is actually more nutritious than kale and spinach combined. Like that is a powerful weed if you're asking me. So calcium bentonite. This is probably a super cute look, I would imagine. <laughs> That's how you detox your armpits. Okay, you think about like, okay, think about when you put random deodorant on your armpits, you're absorbing that right into your bloodstream. So you gotta for sure detox it, and you gotta be careful that you're Is that not what they say, is that your armpits are just lead to your bloodstream? And all your skin, your skin's your largest organ. Anything that you put so on why your skin you... is absorbed to your bloodstream in 26 seconds. Where we are in the unknown is where we allow the mystical to happen. It's where we allow for our lives to actually feel beautiful. Not just one that looks beautiful on Instagram, but one that feels beautiful. And this is just something that has been the biggest passion of my life for a very long time. I'm someone that has dealt with immense amounts of heartbreak. I'm someone who thought that my work would be fulfilling or this material item would be fulfilling, but the realization is it made the hole inside of me 10 times bigger. So what he did is he took glasses of water and spoke differently to each glass. He had one where he said hate, he had one he said love, one he said I di you disgust me, and it changed the molecular structure of water. Why is that important? Because if we are water, we are changing the molecular structure of our bodies, our life, our reality by our thoughts and our words and stuff that we listen to. Thai massages and butt rubs are my favorite thing in the world. But I want you to realize and I want you to think about self-care differently. Every time you go to do something, think about how it's going to allow you to know yourself even more, which translates to a life that you create and it's beautiful for you. Because LA itself has so much to offer, so let me get my bag together. I actually started to learn a box a few years back because I had a crazy stalker. Let's just be honest about that. So I'm big on knowing how to take care of yourself, self-defense, and let's go box. I don't even know what it is. I don't either. Is it the hair or the skin that gets bleached? I'm a sheep. I don't know how hairy your fucking ass is. No, but I want If I asked you to name something that was naturally beautiful, how long would it take you to name yourself? How long would it take you to name yourself? Think about it, we think about natural beauty, we think about maybe a salt scrub, maybe cruelty-free things, but I wanna give you the scientific explanation and evidence that you are the most geometric, divine, beautifully crafted, mathematical expression that possibly exists. Now, you've heard of the golden ratio, I know you've heard it in school, and I'm not gonna bore you talking about triangles and proportions and harmony, even though these philosophers were doing it to, to communicate with the divine, it wasn't something that we were told. But I am here to remind you of that, that using the golden ratio, we are able to look at everything in nature and realize that there's a secret coding in it that harmonizes with our eyes. These proportions and the way, it's almost like, it's so gangster, honestly, if you think about, if you think about the way everything was created for us to just like think about how beautiful it is for our senses to perceive how beautiful it is the way you see a sunset the way you see a sunflower the way a seashell just coils perfectly and then it creates the most beautiful sound so this is why i'm bringing it back to you this is why i'm bringing the golden ratio to you is because there's nothing about you that is an accident there's no mistake on you you are beautiful and everything that we go to do together in this series talk about natural beauty should enhance our divine creations that are already here. Like you're already here expressing the most beautiful thing that you can express. So I'm here to help you celebrate it. So together we are going to find fun products, 
fun rituals, things we can do together to cultivate that inner beauty so we glow from the inside out. But that is what will create a beautiful life. And that to me is what natural beauty is because it already exists around us. It's just making sure that it's proportionate and it harmonizes to your life. I love you. Absorb that into your molecular structures.